So we are here today to talk about some of our family Hiroset recipes just in time for Passover. And we have eight different recipes from all over the world. And two of our favorites are right here. There's the Ashkenazi Hiroset which my sister said is kind of like apple pie filling, which I'm super into. It's more traditional, and then there's the Moroccan Hiroset. It's a little sweeter, you can use it as a spread. And then today we brought like a new Indian Hiroset recipe, which we're really excited about. <laughs> yeah. Hala. So I, I will say that Jews have been in India for over 2,500 years, and I didn't know that until Tanya said, let's make Indian inspired. So these cultures, are so intertwined for thousands of years, and so it's great to bring it today. We have a lot of people that want to win these packages. James oh, Kitt awesome! Bella wants to win a package. I Ohio. personally it has some spatulas. Yep, I have the so spatula right here. The Indian <laughs> Roset. Right. Yeah. So we want me to, we'll just make it. So okay. it's pretty cool. Um, it's a really interesting and new recipe. We're using fresh papaya, which Yummy. is super exciting. Love. So we have also chopped dried mango. So I'm just gonna kind of put it all in here, show you how to make it. <laughs> chopped like, dried mango. Yeah, it's really good. It kind of goes with the texture too. too. Right. Yeah. But then you've got like the softness from the papaya yeah. and the, the chewiness from the dried mango. Yeah, and it's really good. We usually eat it on like matzo crackers or like Lucy said, yeah, you can use I it as a plain. spread. You can eat it plain. Mm -hmm. um, and then also in this one, we're using cashews, which is also kind of exciting because you like get the crunch. crunch. Yeah. yeah. So we'll put it all in there. And it's so healthy. Yeah. It's yeah. Also yes. super healthy. It's just fruit, pretty much, and right. nuts. Um, also, we have minced ginger. Um, nice. Again, like it's kind of like a kick. If you want About to how much ginger there. do you put in? Um, it kind of depends on what you want. We have the recipe right here. The okay. recipe's on breakingmatzo.com. <laughs> breakingmatzo.com. So yeah, half a teaspoon. Um, but of course, you can kind of change it up for whatever you like. Um, see, that Scott says, wow, those two girls have such talent. All four of you should be on a TV show. Oh, gosh. Oh, yeah. yes. <laughs> We're too busy with school. Oh, <laughs> Elliot. Hi. 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 Um, oh, yeah. Then, so then the last thing Indian is just spices. three spices. Again, Indian inspired spices. So we have our cardamom, cloves, and cinnamon. So I'm just gonna drop them in here. Oh, yum. So you're right. This is perfect complement to the Yeah, sangria. it works really well with the sangria. So Kathy, she's saying she's never tried any of these foods and she hasn't even tried matzah. I, I, oh my gosh, can we talk about the chocolate mousse? Oh, oh my gosh, it's really That's good. our personal favorite, our chocolate mousse cake. Yeah. So that's my mom's favorite recipe and she inspired a lot of what we're doing on Breaking Matzah. Yeah, she yeah, um, sure. passed away, but her tradition lives on. And it's, and it's our number one piece of content. It's our number one yeah. recipe. And it I looks think it's my mom's ridiculous. Like, it's so I actually, that's one of the first things that I'm going to cook is that chocolate mousse. And it's super matzah. easy and it's really good. You just soak everything. We, as a kid, it was super fun because you got to soak all of the matzah and red wine. And I was oh. like really <laughs> exciting as a kid. And the chocolate mousse is super fun. That's my friends, all my favorite, all yeah. my favorites. Yes, yeah, so that's pretty much it. It's really easy. Some and of is there lemon also? Oh, there? yeah. You also yeah. squeeze on. Um, and that kind of keeps it fresh and yeah, gives it a little citrus zing, huh? Yeah. How much do we need? We're doing a whole lemon, but again, you can kind of change it up. Depending I on saw you and your dad were doing one on the blog that you were cooking. Yeah, so we took, um, on the blog, there's some videos of our recipes. Is that this one? That's not, we don't have that one made here. Okay. So this, that one is a Chinese inspired Hiroset, and that one has pine nuts, honey, soy sauce, and some other flavors. So some of them you do cook. We also cook um, our Italian Hiroset, which is pretty much like tons of fruit that gets cooked out and super that good. That was so Ronnie, how do you feel about cooked fruit? No. <laughs> Not she, has, she has an issue with cooked fruit, but it can be cooked and then chilled and then she'll eat it. Yeah, so it's all in Yeah. <laughs> but then again, like Lucy said, the Ashkenazi, which is more traditional, isn't cooked, but it's pretty much like the inside of an apple pie. So that's usually a crowd favorite. Oh, Maureen says she's coming to dinner. So. <laughs> Uh, so apparently these guys would love to have you. Yeah. <laughs> so what I would say about having flavors from around the world, people of different flavors share a common purpose. And so that's why we study, if you eat food with someone around the world, you become friends, the world becomes smaller. Right. And yeah. there's so many ways of having differences, but food really unites. Right. And so that's why we celebrate all these flavors. That's deep, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. Okay. So you can just take, we have some here. We also, we can use a spoon and just eat it with matzo crackers. Oh, yes. My or, favorite, my favorite. Yeah, the crackers are pretty good. They're a very good vehicle for the yummy hero set. Slowed it up there. So I know. <laughs> we also what? have some napkins as well. Do you really have to get that close, Narami, on me eating? <laughs> you can speak, you know. <laughs>
<laughs> we all have a napkin. I've been eating this all day. Yeah, Lucy's been sneaking her uh, spoon in here. I've been trying to get her to wait till I've been eating that all day. Too. I know, yeah, and it's really so healthy. It's no so sugar, good. no dairy. Yeah, it's exciting. This is the first one we did with not only healthy, it was really like good. the easiest thing on the planet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it takes like certain the ingredients, and then you're golden. It's so good, and I love it on matzo because it takes. It's not too sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the cinnamon and the ginger is so good. I definitely get the the Indian. Yeah. Inspired. <laughs> you inspired this. You inspired yeah, this. Yeah, we were so excited. So good. Right. It's always fun to have new recipes because oh we've been doing these for so long.